meet an objective and surely find this time of year uh, that was real similar to what a late summer burn would have been in an open stand. So. so we're out here at Mill Creek Farms in Wood County doing our annual wildfire training. And they're also going to be practicing some wildland paramedicine out in the field. They're going to have patient care. Even real life. So what, okay. what are you guys going to be doing? How to get him back up the hill. Whether. So in the wildland world, you know, in, in Texas, not just Texas, but there's other places in the country, but we primarily operate here in the state of Texas. It's such a vast geographical place. You can find yourself out in the middle of places in far west Texas where you might be two hours away from a hospital. You might be an hour away or an hour of travel time to get an ambulance out there. So that wildland paramedic piece comes into play because that's what's going to hopefully keep an injured fire or injured wildland firefighter alive and sustain them until they can get to that higher level of care. So that's part of what we're going to be exercising out here today. So today they're going to be concentrating on about an 80 to 90 acre plot of cut over land uh, of how to contain that and keep that wildfire from spreading to some of the adjacent property. But yeah, we are probably more well known for fighting structure fires, but if 2011, the 2011 drought season taught us anything is that we're, we could be victims to a wildfire. And so we have a responsibility not just to worry about the structural stuff, but the all hazards type approach and wildfire certainly fits within that spectrum.